All right, so um, I didn't want to do two examples in a row of two different things and confuse you guys. So the first type of example we did was talking about um, an object that was being launched in the air. And people typically call those projectile motion problems. You're taking something and you're throwing it or tossing it or catapulting it or whatever. And then there's another type of application problem that people do and that's um, using vault or area because it's something squared. So we can use quadratics to help us find areas of things too. And that's what the second example was and I just didn't want to overwhelm you yesterday. So for this, we're not going to draw the parabola and think about it, anything going up in the air or anything. We're actually going to draw a picture of the situation. So they're talking about a rectangle for a lawn. So we're going to go ahead and draw a rectangle. And it says that the lawn measures nine meters by five meters. And it says that the lawn is surrounded by a flower bed of uniform width. Do you guys know what that means? Yeah, so the, the flower bed all the way around is the same width. So it's the same on the left side, it's the same on the right side, it's the same on the top, same on the bottom. So here's the lawn, here's the flower bed. Since they don't tell us what the width is, um, we're going to call it X because we don't know. So I'm gonna label that all of these widths are the same, they're all a width of X. So we've got two sets of dimensions happening and two sets of areas happening. The first set has to do with the lawn all by itself. So the dimensions of the lawn all by itself are nine meters by five meters. And what's the area of the lawn all by itself? 45, right? And we get that by doing length times width equals area. So 45 meters squared, that's the area of the lawn. Then we have the lawn plus the flower bed. So the two things together. And this is where things start to get a little bit tricky. So if you look at your original dimension for a length, the original dimension for a length was nine, right? That's a length of nine right there. And our flower bed takes that nine and it adds an X to it on this side and it adds an X to it on this side. You guys see that? So that nine increased by an X on one side and an X on the other side. So that's nine plus X plus X. I want you to think for a second, what happens if you add those together and do not say nine X squared? That's multiplied. What happens if you add those together? Yeah, nine plus two x. So our new length is nine plus two x. That's our new length. Yep. And so our width, originally it was just five, right? Five right there. And we added x at the top of it, and we added x at the bottom of it. And so that means that the width of the lawn and the flower bed combined would be five plus x plus x. And so that would be five plus two x. And then in the problem, they actually told us what the area was. Does anyone know what the area is? 96 meters squared. Okay. And we're all pretty familiar with the formula area equals length times width, right? area equals length times width. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the area equals nine plus two X times five plus two X. Are you okay with that? Yeah. So if you guys remember what we did yesterday, we kept, um, we were always graphing these in our calculators and making our calculator do the work so we didn't have to do the math by hand. So instead of having A equals, we're actually gonna have Y equals, because our calculator uses X's and Y's. So this Y right here, I just erased an A because the Y represents the area. And I don't wanna forget what the X represents, so can you guys remind me what X is? 
Yeah, it's the width of the flower bed. Yeah, so the trick here is the first question says, what is the width of the flower bed? So what letter are they asking us to solve for? X. Now if they gave us, or if they're asking us to solve for X, that means they gave us a Y that we could use to figure it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start typing this in so I don't get overwhelmed with everything. I've got uh, parentheses nine plus two X, parentheses, and then another set of parentheses, five plus two X. So you do not have to multiply it out. Your calculator can handle it the way that it's written already. And then I know this area right here, this 96 meters squared, that is a Y value. That's an area. So I'm gonna go down to Y2 and put 96. Um, and then let's think about what our window should be so that we can see everything. So if you think about your X values, do you think you need um, a window where the X value goes to 57? Or are you gonna have a width for a flower bed of 57 meters? No, probably not, that's a silly answer, right? What do you guys think a reasonable answer for this problem would be? Like, like one, two, do you guys see the dimensions of this? Like five meters by three meters, so how wide do you think the flower bed probably is? Like one or two or three, probably not super wide, right? Because the lawn isn't all that big. You know, your, your flower bed's probably not gonna be enormous compared to the lawn since it's a border. So the X values are gonna be pretty small. That means that when I have my window and I'm looking at the X values, negative 10 to 10 is gonna be plenty big. I don't need to have the X values any bigger than that. How big should my Y values go? At least 100. Why do we know it has to go to at least 100? Yeah, we're about to graph the 96, yeah. So go down to your Y max and make sure it's at least at 100. You can go a little bit bigger than that if you want. And then we'll go ahead and graph it. And where are we gonna find the answer to number five? Are we looking, what are we looking for? Are we looking for like the Y intercept, the X intercept? Are we looking for the vertex? Are we looking for a specific point? What are we looking for? The intersection, we wanna know where those cross. So I see an intersection over here, and I see an intersection over here. Which one should I be looking at? The one on the right. The one on the left is gonna have a negative answer for the flower bed, and that does not make sense. So we want this one over here, so I'm gonna hit second trace, number five. five. And it doesn't, my cursor just has to be closer to that one than the other one. It doesn't matter exactly where it is. So I'm gonna press enter, enter, enter. And so I get the point 1.5, 1.596. So what do these numbers mean? Mm. The so that's the width of the flower bed, and what's that? The area. the area. So if this is how wide my flower bed is, then this is how big the area is going to be. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and answer that question. The width of the flower bed is. One point five meters. What are the dimensions of the lawn? Nine by, five. Nine by five, that's a silly question because it was in the problem, so we don't have to do any work there. So the lawn is nine meters by five meters, okay? What are the dimensions of the lawn and the flower bed combined? Should I say nine, nine plus two X by five plus two X? No. no. I'm gonna sub the 1.5 in for X. So there's the length, here's the width. And so what do you get when you plug that in? So 12. An eight, okay. So the lawn and flower bed combined. Is 
12 meters by 8 meters. Okay. So that's the little trick if you're dealing with one that has an area. And that's going to be similar to how you approach the problem on the back, problem number 8 back here talks about a rectangle and it just gives you the expression for the width and the length so you don't have to worry about that too much because they gave it to you. Um, and then they tell you what the area is. So you'll be able to do that one if you choose. Okay?